Hey students, in this video we're going to talk about expenses. So in the last video we talked specifically about revenues on the income statement. Uh, in this video today we're going to talk about expenses. So what are expenses? Well, in your textbook they are outflows or other using up of assets during a period from delivering or producing goods, rendering services, etc. Wow, that's too long. So forget that. Let's get that out of there. So they're really, honestly, expenses are just costs of doing business. That's it. The costs of doing business. There's a lot of different types of costs. So categories. Let's talk about what kind of categories of expenses are on the income statement. Cost of goods sold. All right. That's the biggest one here. All right, that's the cost of what you sell. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that. Now, the next category here will be your operating. So that's more of a secondary type of expense. And then non-operating is tertiary. So if you don't know what tertiary is, that just means third. Secondary, second, primary, first. Simple as that. So let's talk about, well, here's the income statement again, just to refresh. Notice cost of goods sold is right below sales. It's the biggest type of expense. So you subtract cost of goods sold from your sales. So let's talk about cost of goods sold here. Oh, before, yeah, sorry, before we do that, cash versus accrual method. So in the last video, I showed you what that was uh, in regards to revenue. So again, when are expenses recognized? So for the accrual method, it's when they're incurred. That's a really weird word, incurred, and we'll talk about that. And then cash method is when you pay for those expenses. So let's talk about the cash method first. So you only recognize expenses uh, when you pay the cash for it. So if you go ahead and let's just say you buy some, let's say you buy some advertising. So you want to advertise for the business. When you buy that advertising and you pay cash for it at the time, under cash accounting, that's when you actually can recognize that advertising expense. So once again, this is used mainly in small businesses uh, like a dry cleaner. And it is less important in this class. Like I talked about in the other video on revenues, um, cash accounting in your college class is a little less important uh, than your accrual accounting. So let's talk about that. The accrual method with expenses. Uh, you recognize expenses when they're incurred. That word incurred, what does that mean? So let's use that advertising example again. Let's say you buy advertising under the accrual method. The advertising agency bills you for it, but you haven't paid yet. So they bill you, but you haven't paid yet. Under the accrual method, that's incurred, right? You went ahead and bought that service, they gave it to you, but you just haven't paid yet. So you actually can go ahead and record that expense at that time, even though you haven't paid. And that's called incurred. You incurred that expense. And that's the accrual method of accounting. So it's mainly for larger businesses like corporations. And uh, as I was saying, so incurred is when the company is billed, not necessarily paid. Cash accounting, you can only record that expense when you pay for it. Accrual accounting, you can record that expense when it's incurred. So you've been billed, but haven't paid yet. Okay, so cost of goods sold, we were talking about that. It's kind of what it sounds like. So usually it's used in manufacturing businesses. So when you manufacture a product. So when you manufacture a product, uh, you have to get all those materials together, right? So that's the cost. You have to buy those materials, but then you get to sell it. So essentially, it's the cost of what you sell. You sell it for X plus five, but it only costs you X. So that's cost of goods sold. It's the cost of what you're selling. And here's the basic formula here. So beginning inventory and go ahead and add in your purchases and then subtract out your ending inventory. Now at this point, you may not know what inventory is yet. That's fine. This is a formula. 
When I give you a formula, write it down. No cards, no cards, no cards, trust me. So just go ahead and use that for now. We're gonna talk about inventory in the balance sheet section. Okay, operating expenses. So this is the other type of expense here. Not cost of goods sold, this is your secondary type. Uh, there's a few types here, so let's take a look. Selling expenses. So companies wanna sell their products simple as that or their services so how can they do that well give you a few examples advertising so a company can help sell their products if they advertise it right so customers know about it and then buy it that's how it goes so that's a selling expense uh, this right here represents commissions so if you have salespeople working for you as a business uh, these salespeople get a percentage of sales when they make a sale. That's the idea. So that's considered a commission. That's a selling expense. And lastly, uh, shipping is another big expense. So if a customer buys a product from you, you know, out of state, you have to ship that product to the customer, right? Or they won't ever have it. So when they buy it from you, you have to ship it. So that's the cost of selling. You have to sell once you sell that product, you have to ship it. So that's a selling expense. That's the first type of operating expense. So the next type you'll find out is gonna be your admin expenses or administrative expenses. So think of an office building. Let me back up there. Think of an office building, right? So you have the big manufacturing plant and then you have a separate office building over here. The admin expenses focus on the office building, and that's it. So depreciation. We're gonna talk about this a little later in the balance sheet section, but depreciation essentially is buying a fixed asset. And you don't know what that is yet, and that's okay. You're gonna buy a fixed asset, imagine a piece of equipment, and as opposed to expensing it up front, you expense it over time as you use it. Uh, that's called depreciation. If you don't know what that is yet, that's okay. We're gonna talk about it a little later. So depreciation, uh, but imagine on the administrative expenses, depreciation is like depreciation on office furniture or depreciation on a computer. So whatever they're using in that office building, any type of depreciation would go there under admin expenses. Supplies, right? You need office supplies. That's an admin expense. And um, an office manager's salary. That's an admin expense. Think of the office building, and that's an admin expense. All right, non-operating expenses. So we went through cost of goods sold, operating, right? Selling and admin expenses. Now let's talk about non-operating. There's only a few of them here. All right. First, we have interest expense. So if you take on debt as a corporation, you're gonna have to pay interest on that debt. Interest is like the cost of borrowing money. So interest expense is considered non-operating. Then you have losses. So remember when you sold that equipment earlier and you sold it for more than what you bought it for, we call that a gain. Now what happens when you sell it for less than what you originally got it for. Well, the difference is called a loss. And so losses actually deduct from your income. They're not as good. So that's a non-operating expense section. So there's a few different types here. Uh, once again, cost of goods sold, operating and non-operating. Please rewind the video, slow it down, whatever you need to do to make sure you understand this, okay? And once again, here's the income statement. So notice sales, right, up top, cost of goods sold. Then you have your operating expenses. We talked about those, right? Selling, admin. Then at the bottom there, you see your non-operating or other. And that's where your non-operating expenses will go. Again, these are just categories. So this is just to familiarize yourself with this information. It's up to you to take notes and study it. You have to know it for the tests. So thanks for listening today. Uh, in the next couple of videos, we're going to be talking about uh, income.
So the last component of the income statement. But in between there, you're going to notice there's some practice questions we're going to go over. I'm going to train you on how to take these tests the smart way. So make sure once you listen to these uh, lecture format videos, go and practice with me as I walk you through exam questions. So thanks for listening today, and I'll see you in the next video.